guys, what's up? It's Jordan from Apple Critics. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the air power being cancelled. So yes, it's official. Apple has axed the air power. It's no more. It's officially done. Finito. Uh, so in this video, I'm just going to be talking about the air power and what actually happened and what went wrong. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the timeline of the Apple air power. So the Apple Air Power was originally announced in September 2017 at the iPhone X event. Uh, so it was originally launched as this really nice uh, wireless charger made by Apple that will allow you to seamlessly charge uh, your Apple Watch, your AirPods, and also your iPhone X at the time. And it was unveiled as this very nice sleek white wireless charger. Now the official statement made by the Senior Vice President of Hardware Engineering, Dan Riccio, goes as follows. After much effort, we've concluded air power will not achieve our high standards and we have cancelled the project. We apologize to those customers who were looking forward to this launch. We continue to believe that the future is wireless and are committed to push the wireless experience forward. So that was the statement we received and that was where we got this initial breaking news from. So that basically closes the case. Now, now comparing the Samsung charger to air power, you have to have your uh, phone right exactly on this wireless charging pad and if it's not, then it won't work. Uh, so you just have to line up the NFC on your iPhone with the wireless charging pad and then it will work. Uh, but with air power, you could place it any which way and it would work. So you just put your Apple Watch uh, in one way and then the Apple Watch would uh, be able to charge and same with your iPhone and, and your air pods on this wireless charger. Now this simply didn't work because of the way air power was designed. Uh, so instead of just having a dedicated spot for wireless charging and another spot right here or just a similar layout, uh, with air power there's coils actually right under uh, this whole piece so it doesn't matter which way you put your Apple Watch AirPods or your phone you'd be able to charge it so it didn't have a dedicated space. Uh, so that means that there's tons of coils under it and it would get really hot and overheat. Uh, so when it would overheat, uh, obviously that's not a good experience, and that would be similar to the Note 7 fiasco where the phones were exploding or catching fire. Uh, so that could have been potentially what would happen with these Apple Air Power devices. Now this officially ends the rumors that Air Power was close to arriving because it was seen on the AirPods 2 box. Apple also got the trademark for Air Power, and recently there's been a lot of surprise drops, whether it be uh, the new AirPods 2 uh, or updates to the Mac line. There's just recently been a lot of good positive news with Apple uh, with the new Apple TV Plus. So we really thought we we're gonna get the Air Power, but that certainly is not the case anymore. So that's my video on Apple canceling Air Power. Uh, please be sure to comment down below what you think of air power and whether Apple should have tried to continue to do some research and development on how air power could work or do you think it's the right call that they decided to give up on air power or were you not even going to buy it anyways because it's probably going to be a 200 250 or super expensive for a wireless charger when there is cheaper alternatives uh, so once again thank you for watching this video be sure to follow me on Instagram at Apple Critics and also be sure to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash AppleCritics and we can continue the conversation down below. And once again, thanks for watching and leave a like.